but Brook- Brooklyn Lou brings up an interesting question here that I think is a good one for us to talk about. He says, how did this movie become more of a Christian thing? All decent people are against child trafficking. No. And I agree. I, I think Brooklyn Lou, here's my perspective. And these folks can, can disagree with me. Uh, they do all the time, but um, here's what I think happened. So this movie was meant to come out a while ago. And it it was meant to come out five years ago and studio after studio wanted to shut it down and not do it. And eventually that's where Angel Studios came in after it was bought out by 20th Century Fox, I think, and then had plans to not even ever release it. And then they crowdfunded it. Why is it a, a Christian thing? Well, I think that when it started getting pushed to the margins that way, because of the message, it kind of links up a little bit with who Jin Caviezel is. So I think the main character being a very strong Catholic, a Roman Catholic, I think has a part to play in that. And so I don't know that it's a necessarily a Christian movie. There are a few lines in the movie that, that give you a hint to the, the faith of Tim Ballard, Mm -hmm. the main character, but it isn't overtly Christian in that sense. I think there's multiple factors that play into it. I mean, the one is marketing. Obviously, if you have Jim Caviezel, who's yep, a yep. outspoken, devout Catholic, who also played Jesus in one of the biggest Christian films in the world. And when you have mm-hmm. um, a Tim Ballard, who's a Mormon, who Mormons associate themselves at least with traditional Christianity. And then you have Angel Studios, which is a Christian production company, uh, I think funded primarily by the Mormon church as well. Um, and then you have, um, this being marketed out to a more conservative Christian base because of all the benefactors and the big players in the game, it's going to hit the Christian network pretty fast and pretty quick. Secondly, yeah. the conservative right leaning, uh, side of American politics, uh, makes it is about 70% to 80% religious and not 70 to 80% is mostly Christian. Um, so, and when it comes to the political divide on this movie, a lot of right-leaning news networks were the ones pointing out the fact that a lot of left-leaning news networks were critical of the movie. Um, so that means a lot of Christians on the, you know, on the right are hopping on the bandwagon, speaking up yep. and saying that this was a good movie and that they're defending it. Um, so like, I think there's a, I just think there's multiple factors that play into this, why it became more of a Christian thing um, and how it was mainstreamed. Well, and, and yeah, yeah you, you and after, that. Oh, go ahead, Ryan. I was just going to say that uh, you mentioned the uh, the guy that threw in a hundred bucks earlier, who was in support of the movie. Movie, but I've also heard stories on the other end where there were there were folks that were critical, who then later it came out that they were um, uh, what what's the term? They were underage uh, attracted minor attracted, minor attracted mm-hmm. people. Oh, mm-hmm. um, there was the only one, one guy, case I heard I, of for that. Are you talking? Are you talking about the guy in the Rolling Stone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's the guy in the Rolling Stone. And then I heard also a guy in the Washington Post um, who identified himself as a minor attracted person. And uh, so I think there's there's that on both sides. As far as the guy throwing his support behind it, I don't know if you guys ever watch um, Patrick Bet David or listen to him and value tame and stuff. I know uh, Arthur does a lot. Um, he had some... FBI informants on like a month ago who specialized in uh, child videos. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, the FBI informant said that, or sorry, he's not an informant, he's an agent. The agent said that a lot of these guys, that is like their one vice. And then the rest of their life, they spend trying to make up for the fact that they are this monster. And so I think that could also be a reason why you find folks like this throwing their support behind it is because they feel so ashamed of who they secretly are that they're trying to yeah. be somebody else, you know, in, in appearances to everybody else. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I, I think that there's, there's a lot of interesting that surround this movie. Also, the box office numbers that they brought in $165 million as of right now. Uh, which puts them at the top 350 all time in the box office, which is kind of crazy for a movie. Now, I think that there's a few things it had to its advantage. I think the controversy actually helped it. 
Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you want to see the full episode, click right here. And you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.